Well, I'm Dr. Luis Argata, Green Thoracic Surgery. I'm going to show quickly how to place a percutaneous uh, pigtail catheter. It's a 14 French small bore catheter that can be life saving uh, for uh, pneumothorax and hydrothorax, either or. Okay, so uh, first you start by infiltrating the skin in the patient. So you do some infiltration first. Okay, then what, then what I like to do is if you can, you can see from inside, I feel the intercostal space, I go above the rib, and I go in, you know, infiltrating with the anesthetic and also suctioning, and I, I try to go in above the rib. If I, don't, if I don't find the space, then I go a little bit higher. If I don't find it there, I go a little bit higher, and then you can see I get air. Now I know I'm in the pleural cavity. Now I disconnect my syringe, and now I can thread my guide wire. So I, I thread the guide wire, and you can see it goes in. You don't have to push the, the needle way in, just, just the tip. Now I remove the syringe, the, the, the needle, have the guide wire in there. It's very important to do the dilator first. It's very important to dilate the fascia. If not, you will, you're going to have trouble passing the softer catheter. So you have to do the dilator first to dilate the, the chest wall to create a little, little hole so that things will go in. You don't have to put all the dilator in, just, just the length or the width of your chest wall. See, you can see it going there. You don't have to go all the way in. Now you take the guide wire so it doesn't come out. You have to, you're going to have a larger uh, hole now. Now you had already prepared your picto catheter with a stylet inside. You had already turned the lure lock here. Now you can pass a Picto catheter, so you thread it, you thread the guide wire through the center. Careful not to lose control of your guide wire. So now, I usually like to pass first the tip. I take control of the of the stylet of the guide wire, and I push the catheter in with the stylet. You can see it go in into the cavity. Now I turn it 180 degrees. So the tip will go up. Now you can see that how the tip will go up. So it will go up to the apex to drain the air. Now that I, I just have to pass the width of the, of the chest wall. Now I Undo the lure here, and I take the guide wire and the stylet and remove them. And you can see how everything comes out. And your pictal catheter, the tip, coils. Now you can push it in a little bit more. There's three markers here so you know where you are. So you already measured with your stylet how far in you want it to be. So you can have as much of the catheter in or outside of the body. So if the patient, if you place a catheter right here, you're going to have, you know, a small length of the catheter in there. And uh, now you close your three-way, your two-way valve here. You place this cap here, and now you connect it. Other chest. Oh. Yeah. So now. The, this this equipment here in the kit. So you connect the lure to the pictal catheter, and then you can connect it to the pleurovac that is already pre-filled here. And now you can, and now it's going to be working. So that's a way to place a 14 French pictal catheter.